Do you, do you sometimes you want to take the electric guys and just shake them? And <laughs> well, you know, there's there's room for all these technologies. I think you know it, there is a spirited competition, that's for sure. But w what you learn is that um, not everything works for everybody. So the beauty of the diesel is it doesn't offer any compromises for consumers. So if you're investing in a hybrid or a, a Prius, for example, you may have to compromise on whether you could you know haul enough stuff or tow something with that. If you're looking at a Volkswagen Jetta Sport Wagon, for example, you won't have to make those compromises, yet you'll still get 30% better fuel economy over baseline gasoline. So we see some great, um, uh, some great technology coming out now. Um, this year we've seen major announcements from Volkswagen and their uh, uh, other uh, affiliated company, Audi, the number of new product launches coming in, uh, in diesel. And we expect that from the German manufacturers. They've always been huge leaders in the technology. One of the most exciting things this year is coming from General Motors and the Chevrolet division, where in just a few days we'll see the launch of the Chevrolet Cruze Eco-D. This is a, a small uh, diesel engine in an already hugely successful and popular global platform vehicle um, that we expect to do just kill fuel economy, probably 50 miles a gallon or better. Now, we haven't seen any numbers on that, but um, it's going to be a huge, uh, a huge uh, stake in the ground for clean diesel in the U.S. It's going to be an affordable four-door sedan. Um, families are going to look at that and say, wow, I can really save money over the long term here. I don't have to worry about those things like batteries five or seven years out, or maybe electric's not for me yet, but um, I like the diesel and what it is. So we're very excited about what the diesel offers.